Hey, yeah, I've got another master dial combination padlock here. This is model 1590D. And the cool thing about this is you can change the combination. After you open it up, you stick the key that they provide down here, turn it, and you can get a new combination. And as you can see, it's both numbers and letters. And you can come up with your own combination. And they say you can use numbers and letters more than once and it's not restricted, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so the other thing I wanna say is the weight of this, it's, it's very weighty lock. It's heavier than a standard master lock, which is in turn heavier than one of those cheap ones, which is just really light. It's, it's, it's just so light, you know. It would almost blow away in the wind. But this one, you could uh, cause some damage if you threw it at someone, but this one, it's, really beefy so it's it's made out of some tough stuff it's anti-shim and the other thing about it that i like is that each number clicks and so it's, it's easy to dial in your code because it clicks into the right one and it's really easy to turn to turn fast it's it's really nice it's quite a nice lock okay so can't shim it so what are we going to do to decode it? Well, lifting up and trying to find the first number doesn't work. Also trying to find the last number by trying to find how much play there is. That doesn't seem to work either. But what we can do is we'll turn it several times to the right. Let's start at zero. I'm going to tension the shackle and it, it sort of stops there so I release the shackle a bit, turn it a bit and tension the shackle again and it wants to stop at the next one instead of T it goes to R and I do the same thing and it stops at L so it stops at every second one H and it stops at E it shouldn't stop at E it should stop at D and, then, and it, yes, it does stop at D. So E's an anomaly, we'll remember that. I'm going to carry on going around. Okay, the next two away from D is 9, and then 7, and then, okay, it stops at 6. It shouldn't stop at 6, but it does, and so we'll remember 6. Okay, it stops at 5 because it's meant to stop at every second one, but if it stops at one of the other ones, it's an anomaly. So five, three, one, and back to the beginning. So I was tensioning the shackle for each one. Okay, so what we do is we pick on one of the ones. Let's pick on six. I should say that with these master hooks, you add on something. How much do we add on? If we look at these master locks, we add on 5, so if that was 6 and we want to add on 5, it would be about 11. And with this one, it would be about 8. And for this lock, two numbers or letters is a good choice. Okay, round and round and round, and I stop on 8. And then I turn it one full turn to 8, but carry on going. Okay, yeah, it's starting to click at 9, and then release, and tension, and then D, so that's 2 away, release and tension. Okay, about nearly H, do the same thing. Okay, sort of that HJ is not letting me pass. It's a new, it's a new thing where it just doesn't want to let me pass, so I'm going to hope that's going to be my second number and then I'm simply going to turn the other way releasing the shackle at times if it doesn't want to move turning around, turning around, turning around and it's open. Yeah, just something extra I managed to pop the back plate off, it was quite thin but the next plate was quite thick and it took quite a job to pop off actually I had to lever it off okay you can see here it's full of metal and these ball bearing, cylindrical ball bearing type things sit in the recesses of the shackle and it stops it opening up. So there's no way this is going to be shimmed. 
these will only go together if this goes down this will only go down if the gaps in the dials are lined up so if I I'm going to line up those two straight away because this is very difficult to hold looking for that last gap I think that's it there so now the, the gaps are lined up they can go down those two metal cylindrical things go together that sit in there and the lock opens up now remember when I said this is the type of combination lock that you can change the combination and at the moment when the locks open I can't change the dial there's some play but I can't actually turn the dial very far but master lock provide a key that goes down here and I think what it does it pushes this down I don't have the key I, I lost it but if I push this down I'm able to turn the combination and set a new combination because I'm able to turn the dial. Okay, so I think that's how that works. Thanks.